Daytime of the Dead Sixth is V Halloween in Cancun, Mexico, South America. The travel agent should arrange your hotel amenities, airfare, and transportation. Many of these details will be noted on a daily record in the Spanish dialect. A Mexico travel agent must know how of talking and write in Spanish. Habitually verify on plans with his acquaintances to set on the transportation. After a long walk, your children would surely ask for something to eat. Understand dialect learn at least the basic language of South America. This is important particularly if you are going to inquire about to a homeowner of the place. Pursuing the above tips, your family travel in South America might not be the best. You are able to rent diving diving equipments in dance shops located around Jamaica. Rental price are relatively cheap. This is why if you're a certified scuba diver, you don't have to carry all those large scuba diving gears when going to Cancun. Occasionally, you might want to rest from all the enjoyment activities that you will do in Cancun. You are able to rent diving diving equipments in dance shops located around Jamaica. Rental price are relatively cheap. This is why if you're a certified scuba diver, you don't have to carry all those large scuba diving gears when going to Cancun. Occasionally, you might want to rest from all the enjoyment activities that you will do in Cancun. Outside, one can choose from an extensive array of trinkets and souvenirs from turquoise and silver charms to beadworks you can bring home at cheap prices. A place that offers beautiful sceneries, a rich culture, magnificent artworks, and a blend of history and today's world, Santa Confianza is the area you can go to for some sightseeing, whining, dining, shopping, and pure aesthetic satisfaction. The following are the resort which you can choose from during your stay at the development resort, Aventura Spa Development Resort This is a grown-up exclusive resort found in the Mayan Riviera. This kind of holiday resort has a full spa and fitness amenities, available pools, and other enjoyable activities. This is the most famous hotel within an all specially Mexico travel. Online travel sites have the complete information of the best location to go, on what you can expect when you get there, and the price tag on the tour deal. Since Mexico is a year-round tourist destination, there is an opportunity that your planned vacation will overlap with its tourist top season. With other vacationers on your side, there is a chance that some of them can be your friend. Custom It is believed that the souls of children return on the 1st of November, and the souls of the adults return on November 2nd. One of the common symbols of the Day of the Dead are calicas, are skulls that the celebrants represent with masks. The skulls of sweet, have inscribed the names of the deceased, or in some cases of people in the form of jokes, in the forehead, are consumed by relatives or friends. Other special dishes on the day of the dead include the bread of the dead, a sweet biscuit made from eggs baked in different shapes, from simple round shapes, skulls and rabbits. Another important form of this celebration is the famous lithographs, also called skulls, which consist of verses where La Katrina, death, jokes with real-life characters, alluding to some peculiar characteristic of the person in question, and ending with phrases where he is exposed to take him to the grave. At present it is common to see lithographs in the main newspapers of Mexico, where parodies of political personages are made along with the Katrina in dates near the 2 of November. Plans for the festival are made throughout the year, including the gathering of offerings that will be exposed for the dead. During the period from 1 to November 2nd families usually clean and decorate the tombs with colorful wreaths, roses, sunflowers, etc., which are believed to attract the souls of the dead. In case the tomb cannot be visited, either because the tomb of the deceased no longer exists or because the family is too far away to visit it, detailed altars are also elaborated in the houses where the offerings are placed which can be food dishes, dead bread, water glasses, mezcal, tequila, pulque, or atoll, and even toys for the souls of children. All this is placed next to portraits of the deceased surrounded by candles.
creo que esta es la única vida que tenemos. La única forma de sentir que tengo que hacer algo que vale la pena con ella es tener un sentido de muerte. está muy presente en nuestro país, de muchas formas. El Día de Muertos lo que hace es, los vivos nos relacionamos con los muertos, con nuestros muertos. Obviamente de niño no entiendes bien el fenómeno de la muerte y el Día de Muertos para mí era una gran fiesta, que en México es una gran fiesta. Para mí, sin duda, la celebración de muertos cambió ¿no? cuando se murió mi abuelo. Ahí fue donde yo entendí realmente ¿no? lo que significaba esa ofrenda de Día de Muertos. Y ahí fue cuando yo ¿no? también lo que significaba empecé. esa ofrenda de Día de Muertos. Y ahí fue cuando yo también empecé a incluir en esa ofrenda cosas que yo sabía que le gustaban a mi abuelo. Ahí empecé a desarrollar yo ya una relación personal con mis muertos. Vamos a dejarles pan, vamos a dejarles tamales, vamos a decorarles la casa para que hagan ese viaje desde donde quiera que estén. Vamos a decorarles a la casa para que hagan ese viaje desde donde quiera que estén, a visitarnos aunque sea por un día y, y se la pasen bien. Apapachar a los muertos a través de una comida. Me parece muy bonito como la simbología. Veo llegar a mi madre a mi casa con dos paquetes gigantescos con el pan de muerto. Cuando tú haces un altar de muertos, para mi juicio no estás hablando con el muerto como tal, sino estás hablando con el muerto que habita dentro de ti. Los muertos no se terminan por morir, sigue viviendo dentro de mí. Un eh, momento tan doloroso como puede ser la pérdida de un ser querido, eh, trate de ser compensada por una... Eh, trate eh, de ser compensada por una... Eh, ironía, una actitud un poco burlesca, ¿no? un poco satírica respecto a la muerte. Entonces son muchas las tradiciones y las tenemos que rescatar, resp respetar y transmitir a las nuevas generaciones. A mí lo que me gusta del Día de Muertos es como hacernos reflexionar de la vida. Para que tengamos vida tiene que haber muertes, es como esta dualidad perfecta y necesaria. Pues sí, claro, la muerte es parte de la vida, o sea... A mí en lo personal lo que me deja el Día de Muertos es decir pues que sí tienes que, que disfrutar las cosas al máximo, ¿no? Estamos celebrando no solo la muerte, que es nuestra única certeza, sino estamos celebrando en realidad a todos nosotros que seguimos vivos. Celebrar que algún día nos vamos a morir. A todos nosotros que seguimos vivos. Celebrar que algún día nos vamos a morir a través de disfrutar la vida que nos queda. Y por lo menos lo que hace la tradición de Día de Muertos es recordarnos que la muerte es parte de la vida. Y no podemos olvidarla. Yo creo que, que lo que más daño le puede hacer a una sociedad es no estar consciente de la muerte. Todos nos vamos a morir. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to channels.